This fall, Vermont was one of 31 places around the country that was designated a tech hub by the U.S. Economic Development Administration. That makes the state potentially eligible for up to $75 million of federal CHIPS Act money designed to promote technology made in the USA. The state pitched to the feds that Vermont could advance gallium nitrite or GAN. It's a material that could be the future of smartphones and more because it can transmit data faster and charge faster than silicon, which is what semiconductor chips found in most electronics nowadays currently use. And Vermont officials tell me we're ready to seize the moment. I was blown away and realized this is a huge opportunity. University of Vermont Regional Innovation Officer Doug Merrill is running the newly created tech hub in Vermont and tells me the potential for gallium nitride is immense. For energy efficiency, for communications efficiency, uh, for communications access, um, it's, it's going to be a real game changer in those uh, niche markets. He says Vermont wants the federal government to bet on that game-changing potential and make the Green Mountain State the place to be for tech companies. If this works, it will be a big talent magnet for Vermont. That was one of the reasons Kirk Dombrowski, UVM's vice president for research and economic development, spearheaded the tech hub push. He says it could bring young people and new businesses here and highlight Vermont's innovative tech sector. He says the university will leverage its academic programs, including its new semiconductor lab unveiled this fall, to help supply talent. And while most of the tech hub's benefits are indirect for them, he says this is a way to attract new students. We will benefit from Vermont and this area being seen as really an emerging technology center. That's the kind of thing that draws attention and students from across the country. He says their pitch was possible because Global Foundries already has the wheels turning on GAN here. Global got Department of Defense money to convert their Essex Junction facility to make GAN semiconductors. Absolutely, and by being a leader in introducing GAN, we expect to have a competitive edge in this area. Scott Johnson is Senior Director of Technology Development at Global Foundries Vermont Plant. He says they're betting on high demand for a faster, more efficient semiconductor. Global Foundries will be the first high volume manufacturer of GAN. So we're counting on the industry moving to uh, many products that use GAN um, and, and, and there being a high demand. The Tech Hub is planning two new facilities next year, locations still to be determined, that will support GAN semiconductor design and jumpstart this new semiconductor industry. Two Vermont tech companies, OnLogic and Resonant Link, have already said they want to be part of it. And no other states are competing with us. So I think it's ours to lose, if I could be so aggressive to say that. Vermont Economic Development Commissioner Joan Goldstein wants this to be where GAN happens. She says there's a lot of momentum, but she says it will require lawmakers and others to get on board with the idea and the changes that come with it. We will need them to embrace this as well. Um, and why? Because it's about the future. A future, she says, includes more high-paying jobs that could allow more Vermonters to afford homes, where more local students are trained to enter lucrative careers, where more tech companies are setting up shop here and bringing tax dollars into the state. And because tech offers the possibility for remote work, she says the benefits would extend beyond Chittenden County. Well, I think we're ready for it. We, we're poised for it. We have to do the right things. And if Vermont does the right things, in the next five to ten years, Merrill says, some of the cutting-edge technology that Vermonters use in their phones and more might actually be designed here, too. Everyone I spoke with said the goal is not to make Vermont the next Silicon Valley. They said the growth here will be appropriate for the size of the state and will be ramped up over the span of about two to five years. They want Vermont tech companies to think about how they might want to get involved. We'll have a link on our website for any interested businesses to learn more. In the studio, Cat Villianzoni, Channel 3 News.